What is up Virgo? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is for all Virgo placements, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jordan. I'm a master Reiki practitioner, quantum healer, spiritual and shamanic life coach, and a lot of other things. So for personal bookings, check out my website down below in the description box. But let's get into it. I am raffling off a free 10 minute recorded reading for one of you who likes this video. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and comments down below. Uh, I will announce the winners every Sunday. So let's get into it. And there'll be one for each sign. Let's see what's going on for you, my dear. Let's see what we have for Virgo, please spirit. They showed me the six of swords. I heard beyond barriers. Okay. Let's see what else we got for you, Virgo. They keep showing me cats. Um, it's more so the eyes. To me, this is about intuition. You might really be resonating with like time alone right now. And even more like, um, like seductive, like artistic things. Um, I like this. The devil in reverse. Nice. Judgment in reverse and the two of wands. You've made a decision to let go of certain things that are no longer serving you. And I think that's what this cat, this very mystic, very powerful energy I feel is. Uh, some of you might even resonate with Bast or Hecate if you're into gods, goddesses, deities like that. Um, the devil is Capricorn. Judgment is Pluto Scorpio energy. And there's something else with the devil card here. I'm going to get another for the devil. Yeah, king of wands and then the nine of wands in reverse. A lot of wand energy. Okay, so you're starting to embody your personal power. You're no longer going to give up on yourself. There's also this really deep new awareness you have of, I feel like it's almost like your personal goals, like the spotlight's back on you in your own headspace instead of putting it on everybody else, which is really, really nice. So then on judgment, we have the emperor and the five of cups. I'm going to clarify these even deeper as we continue going. Okay, I'll take it. The Hermit in reverse. Okay, put this one here. Let's get one more for the Two of Wands before I go on. I'm just diving a little deeper into each card for you. You have the Star, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, cool. I don't really do... It's not really a spread, but I don't usually pull this many cards, but it's okay. We'll work with it. Intuitive read. Um, with the devil in reverse and the king of wands and the nine of wands, this is you with the spotlight back on you. I feel like your gut instinct or your emotional instinct, there's this part of you that's really starting to realize um, what's worth your time and what's not. I feel like this is like a newfound confidence. Judgment over, this has to do with work. Um work or becoming more of an authority figure. For some of you, I think that you've already mourned and released certain things or beliefs in your life that you're just like, this is not me. This is a very confident, upgraded energy. I'm starting to feel like these are two different people. I feel like this is someone who's in your life or on the same path as you. You're gonna have a lot of people starting to look up to you, so just claim whichever one is you. If you've been going through a lot of changes at work, it's probably this. If you've been going through a lot of changes in regards to your confidence and your sense of self, then this is you. Um, if it's both, then just take them in relation to those aspects of your life. Um, then over here, we have the two of wands in reverse. So this is what you're deciding or you've already decided to walk away from or you're about to decide to walk away from. I think you're no longer gonna invest in relationships that are not putting in the same amount of work as you. You're like, if you're not going to really invest in this foundation the way that I am emotionally and materially, then I'm not gonna do this. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups, you're only going to invest in things that really support the, the happiness and the love that you're trying to make here. I feel like this is almost giving somebody an ultimatum. That's really what this feels like. It's I feel like this is giving someone an ultimatum. Like, if you want me, you got to do this. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess, followed by the Ten of Wands, followed by the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be very clear-cut communication about what needs to be released. That And you see that very clearly with the High Priestess card, that this behavior has to be released in order for this individual, whoever they are, to really stay in alignment with you. I like that the Queen of Swords came out because it shows me that your feminine is still here communicating. I don't think that's the other person. I think that this is very much you and how you're interacting with the people and environments around you. Okay, so now we're going to get the other people and how they play into your relationships. Virgo. 
Let's start with the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Virgo? They showed me a quarter. They show, showed me somebody flipping a coin. And now they're talking about soccer. Um, I feel like this is about you choosing sides between self and other. And I think you're just finally choosing yourself first. I'm gonna take these two. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse and the Six of Swords. Remember when we started the reading, I said I kept seeing the Six of Swords um, in my mind's eye. I think even though you've chosen yourself, you're struggling to really step forward and act on what it is mentally and emotionally that you feel. So it's like mentally and emotionally you've chosen you, but you might not consistently be showing up in that way yet. And typically that's the last way that change shows up is in the material world, right? Typically it's like the conscious awareness and then we start like making the choice and then it starts becoming a habit and then we start acting on it on a regular basis. That's what you're doing. So you're not yet out of this five of swords, this like inner critic. Yeah, justice in reverse. You're still in the midst of releasing the old contract. I think part of that has to do with the situation over here. Yeah, it feels like tying up loose ends. So let's look at this devil card. I want to see what the devil's about. The star. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I'll take that one. So we have the star, the seven of pentacles, and the ten of wands. Stars upright, seven of pentacles, ten of wands, ace of swords are in reverse. Yeah. Whatever was becoming okay, so this was too heavy. Whatever this was, I think this. I think this is this relationship. This confidence you're finding in yourself is because you're releasing the need to constantly invest, 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 um, to the point that it becomes so heavy on you, and that you don't even know what it is you're really investing for anymore. Like you're losing sight of your why. What's the reasoning behind it? It's just like, oh, I think I should, right? Um, it's asking if it really resonates with you. And with the star and the eight of pentacles both upright, this is happening in divine time, and you're learning where you're your energy, your time, your effort is um, kind of like better spent. Not, no offense to them, but let's look at the King of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. It's about yourself. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is, is the sign of self. It's a single ladies card. It doesn't mean you're single, but it is validating for me that this is your energy. This does represent how you feel about yourself this confidence this entrepreneurial really creative really ambitious like go-getter like i finally feel like i can go and create something for myself and i'm gonna do it it doesn't mean i have to leave the relationship but it does mean that i'm putting myself for your first kind of thing and i like that yeah with the nine of wands you have the nine of swords in reverse i like that you have two you have three nines out nines are the number of self and tens are the environment in our relationships and so you're going through the mastery of self with the nine of wands and the nine of swords you're releasing these parts of you that are really that were hindering your growth and you're really stepping into a new you which is beautiful so um let's yeah i'm really torn between which one to go for let's start with the emperor we'll just go in order let's start with the emperor and we'll start with judgment yeah king of cups there it is king of cups Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. I feel like some of you might have... It's it's a really interesting energy. It's interesting because Judgment in Reverse is typically like the wrong decision. And it doesn't feel like that here. It almost feels like, okay, I made the decision. And it's almost like because it was a free will choice. It could be for you, it could not be. And I think it's really dependent still on this energy. Um, there's still some, it's kind of like when you ask the universe for a manifestation, you're kind of putting in the suggestion of like, hey, I'd really like this. And you were just like, mm, I'll think about it. I might have something better for you. You took action on this and you did it in a really aligned way. There was a lot of love. There was a lot of effort put into, I, it feels like this relationship. And with the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords, it feels like you've tried even to communicate differently and see things differently. With Judgment in Reverse, um, let's get two more on this. Let's get the Five of Cups. Let's see what it is. I feel, yeah. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. You're mourning this, um, releasing this part of you that kind of had an expectation of them working with you, collaborating with you. Okay. Nope. What else do we have? Yeah, Three of Swords. Beautiful. I like this. You're just, you're kind of like, okay, fine. I can't control you. It is what it is. Like, it is what it is. I learned from it. This I feel like you're just learning a lesson, and that's why judgments is in, judgment is in reverse. This is a release of a path. It's a release of a decision you made, and it's kind of like, okay, that path is done. I made the effort. That's all I can do. Now it's up to them to reciprocate, and if they don't, then 
Your, a new door is going to open up for you. Let's look at the emperor. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like some of you might just be walking away. Judgment in reverse. Yeah, you're going to walk away from this. Yeah. You're starting to really embody your personal power. And it kind of feels like, okay, well, I'm picking me. I'm picking me. I gave you this love. I gave you the effort. I'm not really seeing anything coming back. I need to walk away right now. It feels temporary, to be honest, but I think this is going to be, yeah, Ace of Cups. There it is. You're creating this energetic emotional distance, and in turn, that's when they're going to feel your absence, and they're going to come back. Um, be mindful not to, like, break up or leave somebody just because you want this to come back. This person is leaving because they're genuinely choosing themselves, and that's why the energy brings in an Ace of Cups, right? Don't just be like, oh my God, a tarot reader said I have to leave my relationship because that's not what I'm saying either. Sometimes this emotional disconnect could be in a married couple who are very much in love, very much committed, but somebody just chooses to start giving more of their energy to their work or to a hobby or to a new social group. And their partner's like, oh my gosh, I took for granted all the things and all the time and effort my partner was giving to me. And it helps them come back together. So energetic distance is not the same as what we deem distance or separation here in the physical material world. Okay. Let's look at the two of wands. This is the other person. Very queen. Yeah, empress. There it is. <laughs> Very feminine. Very feminine. I like it. You have emperor and empress, and then you have the chariot, and then you have the three of wands. Between the two and the three is the ace of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're still working through stepping into their new beginning. You see how this person's already an emperor upright? This feminine energy is still working on stepping into the Empress energy fully. So they're still learning to love self fully, whereas this person has just completed that lesson and now they're like choosing self because they have learned to love self. This person's just starting that. So it's kind of like follow the leader. And on my channel, if you've watched me for a while, this is a very common theme with soulmates. One person evolves, the next one follows, then they evolve, and then you follow, right? that's what partnership is about. It's about growing and evolving and working through these lessons together because it's pretty much always a mirror. We have the hermit with the moon. Hmm. Six of wands. Okay, there's, um, there's certain things that they're not, it's like they're not seeing or recognizing the parts of themselves that are screaming to be heard. That's really what it feels like. It's like they're saying, I am spending time by myself, but they're not. And it's 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 a lot of hurt and pain that's trying to come out here. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah. And the world. Okay. There's certain emotional baggage that is so suppressed that they think that they've healed, that they're over it, and they're not. Um, it's, this is going to be very, like, deep healing. So if you're dealing with somebody who's getting triggered a lot lately, just know it's really not you. There's there, You're just pushing a button that has already been there that they don't see anymore. I love this. I love this. A really nice energy. So on the star, on this divine timing that you have together, right? We'll go in order. You have the five of wands. So there's the power struggles and the five of swords. Fives are indicative of change. With the five of wands and five of swords, you have the energy of betrayal, the power struggles, the conflict, all that stuff coming up. So this is their buttons being pushed. This is their triggers, right? Then you have the unknown card. They're going to see very clearly that this is actually a very loving relationship with the Ten of Cups there. And with the Eight of Swords, they're going to stop overthinking the relationship. And that's when they get their second chance. So now they're shifting into feeling safe in this dynamic with you. This is very similar to the Taurus reading. Very similar. Um, and that's when you're going to really start to see them come back, be more present, and it's going to shift into more more love, more peace. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. I want to see what's going on between the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, how these two energies interact. Yeah, Nine of Wands. It's going to take, okay. <laughs> we have somebody who's, it, yeah, Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers in Reverse. They get tired of doing the work, <laughs> doing the work. It is a choice. It is a choice to do the work. I call it the dark room, right? When are you going to retreat to the dark room? Because a man gets applauded in public for what he does in private. What are you doing in private for yourself? And this person is struggling to be in private and give themselves the applause before they receive it in a public eye. Okay, and that public eye could be as small as their partner or as large as a social platform. So when we talk about the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Lovers in Reverse, this person is really wanting the Ten of Cups. They're wanting the change, but they are just like, oh, but it's going to take so much work of myself, right? The Nine, work of self, the individual, to have the relationship that they want that is currently unstable. 
right? Because you have the masculine and the feminine, right? The emperor upright and the empress in reverse. There's a lot of work to do. And with the page of pentacles, and then you have the uh, two of cups, it is learning to invest in relationships and deep soul connection in a very stable and new way. Very interesting. I feel like the person that you're in this relationship with is just starting the shift and it's kind of going to be like, you know, when someone like is doing something because they know they have to, not because they really want to, and they're just kind of like poopy at first and it takes them a while to really feel good about that change that they're making. That's what they're going to be like, that pouty little teenager. And it's like, actually, yeah, I'm happy I did it. Like, it's pretty good. <laughs> so just um, be patient with them. But Virgo, if you want a free 10 minute reading to look into your own personal situation, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below anything about the video, about yourself, about your journey, and subscribe to the channel. That way you are entered into the raffle and every Sunday I'll be picking a winner from each zodiac sign for a free 10 minute reading. Okay, um, other than that, check out my website for personal bookings. All new clients get 15% off their first session with me, regardless of what it is. And Check out Patreon. If you want to support the channel for a dollar a month, you can do so there. Or if you want to join Patreon and get a free 10 minute reading and have access to the monthly readings, moon cycle readings, energy shift readings, weekly live chats, uh, weekly card polls, go ahead, check that out. Other than that, I think I'm finally done with all my announcements and I hope you have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, my dear.